So if I walked into a room and you saw me wearing this outfit, would you expect the entire thing to cost me $60, including the shoes? The answer is hell no, but it did. The shirt I got off of the discount rack for literally $9. The pants were actually free because I upcycled an old suit I wasn't wearing and had them tailored. And then the shoes I literally got for under $50 from the company Bruno Mark. They are today's video sponsor. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. But if you are somebody that are looking for incredibly premium looking sexy shoes for an incredible price, you have got to check out Bruno Mark. It allows you to wear stylish shoes and not break the bank. I mean, check it out, right? The regular price of these Oxfords, $55, but there's a discount code down below. Look at that, right? The toe box, it's clean, it's sexy, it's not too pointy, not too square. It is a perfect Oxford, a little bit of broguing, sexy detail in the heel. I'm telling you guys, if you are looking for an incredibly sexy, stylish pair of shoes that is not going to break the bank, I want you to hit that link down below. Check out Bruno Mark. They not only have Oxfords, they've got slip-ons, they've got sneakers. Actually, let me show you these. Check it out. I saw these and I just had to buy them. I love them. They're like a mesh Oxford. They're perfect for summer. Nice and breathable. Once again, that toe box, perfect, comfortable, crazy, sexy. And the price, like under $50. Another stylish pair that I recently picked up, right? The Cap Toe Oxford. Guys, I'm telling you, if you have not checked out Bruno Mark, I'm going to link to them down below. Honestly, I love this company so much because they are providing you guys out there an incredible value for your money in terms of a stylish shoe that is not going to break the bank. They're affordable, they're stylish, they're sexy. There's also going to be a super sexy discount code down below that's going to save you even more money on some stylish, sexy shoes to look expensive even though you're on a budget. One of the things you need to understand about me is that one of my superpowers is having the ability to find items that look high-end and luxury but not spend a ton of cash. Because when I was growing up, everything I bought was from a thrift store. And so from a very young age, I learned to be creative. And so today, what I'd like to do is actually share with you some creative ways for you to look expensive for less. Now, so the first style trick to look expensive on a budget is to dress in dark monochromatic looks, all right? Whether or not that's navy, it's dark brown, it's black. One of the amazing things is that when you dress in a monochromatic fashion, it's going to not only make you tall and lean looking, it's also going to make you look more expensive because expensive people wear dark colors. They also aren't rocking a bunch of patterns, which is actually the second tip. Guys, if you want to look expensive and premium, Cut out all the graphic t-shirts. Cut out all the patterns. Instead, what I'd recommend is look for timeless, stylish classics that are one color, solid, because it's going to make you look more premium. It's also easier to match and coordinate. They're also going to be more timeless for longer, all right? The next trick I'd like to tell you about is actually your pants, because pants are one of those things that make dudes look sloppy and broke as hell, all right? If you want to look expensive, get your pants and have them tailored, all right? Whether or not that's tapering the legs slightly, this is next level, or or a simple hem exposing a little bit of ankle is a great way to make you look more tailored, put together, and expensive. Which brings me to number four. Have your clothing tailored. Guys, so check it out. This is an example of tailoring changes everything, all right? The pants I got from a thrift store for $9. I spent $15 to have them actually shortened and tapered at the ankle. So total, all in, I'm at like $24 for these badass pants. If you learn to go to a thrift store, which is another bonus tip, you're going to be amazed at how much nice stuff is there. If you spend a little bit of money to get a tailored, boom, you're still killing it, looking amazing and high end for less. The shoes, Bruno Mark, Capto, Tan, I love them, they're sexy. And the shirt was literally a custom built shirt for me that I got online for $20, all right? A lot of these online custom shirt companies will actually do a test shirt for you in either white or blue for literally like 20 bucks. Their hope is that you get it, you try it, you love it, and then you order more, all right? This one was a test shirt, $20. This whole entire outfit literally was less than $100, including the shoes. And the cool thing is if you buy solid colors, also monochromatic or muted colors, you actually can use them in a bunch of different outfits, which brings me to the next trick, and that is buy versatile items. Three of the most versatile, timeless, stylish men's options out there, right? The white minimal leather sneaker, guys. It's classic. It's timeless. It works with everything, and the cool thing is that you can find some really great deals. You don't have to spend three, four, five hundred dollars to grab a great looking pair of white minimal sneakers, all right? The jeans. Instead of going with something that is distressed or has a bunch of whiskering, what I'd recommend is go with something darker. It's going to be more versatile. You can wear it in the spring, the summer, but also the fall and winter. And then the simple, clean, white t-shirt. The jeans I'm rocking, 
Levi's. They actually came from Walmart. The t-shirt, $8. I'm telling you, gentlemen, timeless styles look amazing. They're incredibly versatile, and you can also dress them up to look a little bit more expensive, even if you're on a budget. Something else that helps is accessorization, which is the next trick. Accessories. Gentlemen, accessories is the next style trick to look expensive on a budget, because the beautiful thing is that if you're rocking a watch, one of the quick, easy things that you can do to elevate the aesthetic is add some type of fun, funky NATO strap or fabric strap. It's a great way to add a little bit of pop to your outfit. Also, make you look a little bit more luxe, a little bit more expensive. Rings, bracelets, glasses. More specifically, tortoise shell frames, in my opinion, have a more like old money aesthetic, right? A little bit Ivy League, like Princeton or Harvard, all right? Whenever I wear these, honestly, it automatically elevates the aesthetic, not to mention the luxuriousness of my outfit because most dudes aren't rocking tortoise shell. Here's another pair of darker tortoise shell, right? It's just a different way to basically elevate your aesthetic, and in my opinion, it looks more expensive than a basic metal frame. The next few tips are all about suits, all right? Number one is a thin lapel on your jacket makes the suit look cheap. You wanna go with something that's a little bit more full, a little bit more large, okay? Also, peak lapel is a great way to elevate the aesthetic. It's got a more Tom Ford vibe, and it's definitely a more luxurious look. And the cool thing is that most suits, you can find them in both notched standard lapel, but also peaked, all right? Something else I just wanna point out, right? The pants, I had them tailored, I had them shortened so you could actually see my ankle. All right, it's not gonna add a big expense, but it definitely elevates the look of your outfit. And then the shoes. Instead of going with black, always go brown. The only time I personally would wear a black shoe is if I was wearing like an all black outfit, right? And I wanted to be all like bad boy James Bond. Other than that, I am always gonna gravitate towards a brown or tan shoe because brown and tan really elevates the aesthetic of an outfit, making it look cleaner, more rich, also a little bit earthier, but it's definitely a style step up than black. A few other tips to look more premium and expensive on a budget. Number one, avoid trendy items. If you want to do like a statement piece, like a cool watch or maybe some type of jacket, that's amazing. Layering is also another great way to look more premium and expensive. But investing a lot of money in a single item that you can only wear for like a season or a little bit isn't necessarily smart in my opinion. Something else that's not smart is wearing clothing that has a bunch of logos or branding on it. Once again, it's about timeless classic styles that are going to work now, but also in a few years from now for you saving money. Knowing where and when to shop is also an amazing pro tip, right? Like I said, thrift stores are a great place, but you're going to have to hunt. You're going to have to shop. You're going to have to be in the mood for it. You know, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, those type of stores. Also, you're going to have to hunt, but sometimes you can find good deals. Other options, go into a store, your favorite store, and hit the discount rack. Every store pretty much has a section for items that are going to be greatly reduced in terms of price. It's a great way to find amazing clothing, but at half or a fraction of the cost. But it's not just when you go into a store online. Guys, whether or not you realize this, most of your favorite stores have a section online that's going to be greatly reduced or discounted items that you can grab for a ridiculous deal. Something else that's going to help with that is signing up for your favorite brand's email list because they're going to always be sending you emails and discounts trying to get you to buy more than just once a year. Guys, the truth is looking good does not require you to spend a ton of cash. If you want to look expensive, wear clothing that fits, wear clothing that is timeless and stylish, coordinated properly, and always make sure your shoes are clean. Speaking of clean shoes, gentlemen, hit the link, check out Bruno Mark. They're clean, but they're also affordable.